What's up everyone? Today we're going to be comparing the first grow medium that we ever grew microgreens on, which is a soil, against coco coir. So stay tuned for the video. In the past, whenever we were living out in the middle of nowhere, this grow medium, Burpees Organics, was the easiest grow medium for us to find. We loved it because it gave us really solid results and it was super easy to use. But whenever we moved from the country back to the city, we could not find it anymore. And that really pushed us to find other grow medium. That is actually how we stumbled upon coco coir. Now what we've found about coco coir that we just love is this grow medium really doesn't have too many nutrients within it. And that gives us the control to add our own nutrients to it and give these guys a little bit of a boost. Recently, we were actually on Amazon and we stumbled upon the Burpees Organic Soil again and we got super excited and thought that it would be so much fun to try to compare our first grow medium against our new favorite and see which one really gives us the best results. Now that brings us to today. All four of the trays got three cups of their specified grow medium. Now what's the same about these is they're all grown on the exact same trays. They were all seeded with seven grams of purple sprouting broccoli per tray and they've all gone through a four day germination period, which was three days underweight and one day in blackout. And that brings us to today because they are now coming out of blackout. They're going to begin getting bottom watered and introduced to light today. Now let's talk about what the real experiment's gonna be. We decided with our two red label trays, which is our cocoa trays, that we're actually going to do the grow method that we normally do, where we bottom water them with the ocean solution nutrient. And now with our two yellow trays over here, which is the Burpee Organics, they're just gonna receive regular water because the soil does have nutrients in it. They don't need any nutrients added to it. Let's quickly talk about the cost per tray. So for one tray of our Coco Core Grow Medium, that's three cups of Coco Core. That means it's 28 cents for that three cups. And then to add our ocean solution nutrient to this, that's 20 cents per tray. So that means per tray for our cocoa, that is 48 cents in cost compared to our burpee where for one tray of this with three cups is a dollar 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 13 in added cost for the single tray that means that the burpees organics is nearly three times the cost of our cocoa and hopefully it gives us three times the amount of growth so that was a lot of information about this experiment and what we need to do now is actually begin bottom watering these with their specified nutrients and then get them placed on the light so first, just remember, these two red labeled trays are our coco core trays, and they are going to be getting the ocean solution water mixture. Then our two yellow labeled trays are our burpees organics, and they're only going to be getting plain water. So let me go ahead and get these watered, placed on their shelf, and hopefully we see some really cool results here. So we'll see you then. What's up everyone? Today is day nine of our experiment and today's actually gonna be harvest day because everything in front of me is at the perfect height and I don't want them to get any taller or they're gonna start doing that thing where they start falling over and not looking so pretty. But before we get into harvest, I wanna quickly recap what this experiment was. And this experiment was actually comparing the first ever grow medium that we ever grew microgreens on, which was Burpees Organic Soil with plain water as our bottom water against the new method of growing that we grow with all the time in our growth space currently and as coco core with our ocean solution 2-0-3 as our bottom water everything in front of me was grown the exact same way other than their grow mediums and bottom watering the light source that they got was the same the seeding density was the same and so was the germination now starting over here on my right trays these are the two that were red labeled and these are our coco core trays these two trays I think look pretty good here, though there is a difference in the growth, starting with the one on our right, my right, sorry. <laughs> the, so this tray on my right is a little bit taller than our tray on our left, and I think that is mostly because of where this was on the shelf. This one actually set more on the edge of the shelf, so it got less light than our other trays, which caused these guys to kind of stretch up trying to find more light for their growth. But other than that, I think that the stems look really good the cotyledons look pretty good here there's a little bit mixed areas here and there but overall this is a great looking tray with our next coca core tray this one has a lot more of a roundness to it it's a little bit firmer as well and that's once again is because of where this was on the shelf this was in the center of the shelf which caused it to receive more light and that's why these guys actually stayed shorter is because they got enough light for them. Overall, I think this is a really nice looking tray. The height's good. The cotyledons look really nice. 
And I'd have to say that this one looks healthier than our other coconut core tray. All right, now let's talk about the new grow medium to you guys, but not to us. <laughs> so these are our two burpee organic trays. The tray on my right was the one that was near the outside of the shelf. So once again, it's just slightly ahead of our other one, but not by much. This one actually kind of kept up with the other one. Um, the height on these is really good. The cotton lean sizes on these ones are actually smaller than they are on our coconut core trays. And it's a little bit more sporadic throughout the tray, but overall, I think this is beautiful. And our last burpees organic. So this one was the one in the middle. And once again, it was a little bit shorter, just like our other, other coconut nut, coconut core tray was. The height on this one is really nice. It's very comparable to our other tray. And once again, the cotyledon sizes are very sporadic as well. And I'd say that the two coconut trays actually have the bigger of the cotyledons than our two burpee organics. Now that we have looked at all these trays, what I need to do is actually go through, harvest each one of these, and then I will see you guys here in a moment when we can look at the weights. done harvesting all four of our trays but before we get into those harvest weights we got to unlock it by smashing that thumbs up button it really does help out our channel tremendously it makes us be able to do more content like this and also if you want to hit that subscribe button that notification bell that way you get notified anytime we release new videos so let's go ahead and get into the harvest weights now this one was a little bit interesting because things were actually not as different as i thought they were going to be so starting on our two trays that were the coconut core trays, we got a harvest weight of 98 grams and a harvest weight of 97 grams. So those ones were really close to each other. And then with our two burpees organics, we got a harvest weight of 91 grams and 93 grams. So once again, super close. Overall, there's only a six gram difference between the coconut core and the burpees tray. And the winner of this experiment was actually the coconut core trays. Now let's go ahead and take a closer look at these side by side, and then we can get a better idea of who's gonna be the winner of the appearance. So come in closer. The two over here are our two coconut core trays, and the two over here are our burpees organics. Starting with our coconut core trays, I think the height on both of these is actually basically the same here, and the appearance is pretty similar as well. We've got really nice green, good cotyledons, and as far as the purple, because remember this is purple sprouting broccoli, there's not that much on this tray, which that was the one that was more on the outside area. And then on the middle tray here, we actually have a little bit more of that purple stem going up at this. And I'd say that this one is the better looking of the two. Then over on our Burpees Organic, the height difference here is a little bit different. Like this one's a lot shorter, this one's a little bit taller, and this one overall is taller than all of our trays, as you can see. But I will say that the colors on these, we got a little bit more of that purple going up the stem. And our tray that was on the inside actually has even more of that purple there, which is really beautiful to see, especially because this is purple sprouting broccoli. We really want those purples in there. Now, if we had these underneath a more powerful light, we would actually see a lot more of this purple, probably on all of these. But still, with the lights that we are using, I think that these look beautiful. If I had to choose an overall winner for the appearance, I'm actually going to go with this outside group for the Burpees Organic. I just really like the amount of purples that are in this. And I think overall, bur both of the Burpees trays had a lot of that purple that I'm looking for though everything still looks really beautiful. Okay, so we've gone over weight, we've gone over appearance, and now it's time to actually taste these. Usually we'll do a blind taste test, but we realize that that takes a lot of our time. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna taste all these off camera, and we'll just kind of recap and figure out who the winner's gonna be. I'm actually really interested to see this. So I'll see you here in a second. I just tasted the two coconut core trays, and I have to say that on this one right here, and this one, this one right here, the flavor on it was very mild. I wanted more of a punch, so I don't know if I really enjoyed that one as much, but the one in the middle actually had more of a bite to it. Though once again, I feel like it still could have been a little bit more pungent, but I still think they both tasted really good. So now let's go ahead and taste the burpee. Mm -hmm. 
I don't know if I just became a believer myself in organic soils, but oh my gosh, guys. The two Burpees organic trays, even the taller one, had a ton of flavor. Both of them just kind of blew my mind a little bit because now I actually remember why we love this soil so much. That was just incredible. That was the flavor that I was looking for. It had a nice crunch to it, but not too much where it becomes too woody. I think that I am just in love with that flavor now. So I think that's a tell all that, hey, Burpees Organic definitely won on the flavor side of this experiment. Let's go ahead and quickly recap everything. So starting with the harvest weight, the harvest weight winner was our coconut core with ocean solution as our bottom water and that only won by six grams. So everything was pretty close there, but still a winner. Now with our appearance, the Burpees Organic won because it had more purple in its stem, which we love that. And the overall winner for taste is obviously Burpees Organic. That just blew my mind. It's almost like you got a stiff, step away from what you once knew and try something new and then realize, oh, this is the one that I love. <laughs> but anyways, that means that our winner for the entire thing is Burpees Organic. That was just, that was awesome. That taste was incredible. One thing I wanna go over again is the cost of each of these and the coconut core was substantially lower in cost with the coconut core being 28 cents for that tray, along with uh, 20 cents for the ocean solution bottom water for our tray. With our Burpees Organic, it was $1.13 for this grow in that single tray. So there is about a one third cost higher on this side than there was for our coconut core, but it was a lot easier to do because we didn't have to mix up a reservoir of nutrients like we did with our ocean solution. And it really saved us a lot more time, which is really nice. And on top of that, it gave us a better looking and tasting product, which makes it so much more worth it to pay that extra cost. So let's talk a little bit more about why the cost of this was so high. It's because whenever we bought this soil, we bought a five pack of these tiny ones from Amazon. And whenever you buy items like soil or things that are really heavy to ship, they tend to rack up the cost a little bit on that. And then we believe that's why this was so expensive compared to if you were to buy this at a tractor supply or something like that. Speaking of tractor supply, whenever we actually started to buy this, that's where we got it from, but we got it in much bigger, ba bigger bags. So our cost per tray was actually lower than what we are getting from these. We are super excited with how this experiment turned out. And it was actually really shocking that the first grow medium that we ever used actually beat our ocean solution because ocean solution is something that we've used so many times in our space and in so many videos now and it always comes out on top and it can be actually kind of frustrating but this time it got beat by a soil guys that is amazing and actually a little bit funny <laughs> we're going to actually continue to use this more in our grow space with more experiments and everything and see if maybe it was just this test or can this continue to beat other nutrients that we have or even other soils? Is it just this soil that's gonna come out on top or soil would become our new thing, who knows? But all I know is that I am loving this Burpees Organic right now and I'm really excited to continue to use this. I would love to hear what you guys thought of this experiment and also if you've tried this soil before, we'd like to know how you experienced it as well. So please, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you dislike it, give it a thumbs down. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the section below. We also have a website that is www.onthegrow.net and dot .net, <laughs> forgot it. And we have an Instagram and Facebook, which are both at On The Grow Farms. Thank you so much and keep on believing.